think we're live right now. This is Brother Johnny of the 19 Report, Manning, South Carolina. Sincerely thanking everyone and anyone that would tune in at this point. It's kind of, I think it's like 7.30 in the day. My phone is always wrong, but I want to thank you for tuning in. There are a few um, very, very important points I want to touch on today. And it's all based on, um, I always dream in the mornings. I never, if I dream at night, it's a, it's going to be a nightmare. Uh, it's going to be bad and I can't wait and I can't go back to sleep. So usually God sends me dreams in the morning time, usually around six thirty, seven o'clock. And if I'm in the middle of the dream and, and, um, and I wake up, it's like, I'm so tired. I'm so, uh, dreamed that I have to go back to sleep. And usually the dream, it, it continues on from that point. So I want to um, touch on some points today, and I don't want to really frighten anyone about what's going on, but I wanted to talk about it sincerely because I got a, 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 a hit through the wire this morning. After I woke up, I came directly in in my office, and I got a hit on the wire from someone that sent me a link to something that will be happening mm-hmm. uh, on um, – I think I hear my phone, something buzzing, but something that will be happening on um, on November the 5th. And, and, and it's something that we should really uh, at least alert people to it's happening. So I want to talk about that. Um, on the board, I have my dream this morning and how it relates to Wendy Williams fainting. If any of you didn't see Wendy Williams faint on air, I want to talk about that for a minute and show you something that, that is relevant to that. Uh, I want to talk about the terrorist attack in Manhattan and how that's relevant to what's happening on November 5th, as well as something going on in 3,143 counties, there will be a potential blackout. Uh, And if you don't know, the anti-fascism protesters will be protesting in states and counties throughout the um, U.S. on starting on November the 4th. And it'll be going from November 4th to mo- November 6th. So let's let's get right into it. I want to touch on some points. When I dream, I usually wake up and write things down. I don't know exactly what they mean at the time, but I write them down, uh, what I see in the dream. And I usually tell someone what I see in the dream. Sometimes they're relevant and sometimes they're, they're immediately relevant and sometimes it takes a while. So I want to touch on the Wendy Williams things first. Now, Wendy Williams uh, supposedly, apparently, allegedly looked like something that she fainted on air a few days ago, and she was wearing a Statue of Liberty costume when she fainted. Um, If you are not aware of how society works, the elite, they they tell messages through movies, they tell messages through um, uh, music, they tell messages through when they make someone at their time of being the messenger, act a certain way. It's your time, so you have to do this in order to alert the others that this is about to happen. So Wendy Williams is in a um, Statue of Liberty costume, and the Statue of Liberty is a sign of freedom, justice, and equality according to the American way of doing things. Um, She fainted. And uh, the uh, anti-fascism league are those individuals who are saying that they are fighting against fascism. And if you don't know what fascism is, it's like a step above communism or a step below where the government makes all the the decisions for the people and the people aren't allowed to make any decisions for themselves. It is it tells you how to eat, when to eat, what to eat, how many vaccinations you must take, where you must go, what you must wear, how many children you must have. It is a controlled system by government alone. And the Constitution of the United States, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, gives us, I think it's the Constitution, it may be the Bill of of Rights, um, but it gives you the right to bear arms, to protect yourselves against tyrannical governments. What it does is, is saying to you that if the government gets out of control and they decide that, uh, They want to take control of things that they know what's better for us than we know for ourselves. Then the people have a right to uh, fight that tyrannical government. So that's what's happening in society right now. But the dream that I had about uh, Wendy Williams, I didn't have a dream about Wendy Williams. It was just a connect the dots type thing. And I hope you will hang on with me for for this short period. It really won't be that long. Uh, Her feigning on camera is like saying to those 
who need to know that this is the time that this event is going to happen, that liberty will be interrupted, that liberty is going to faint. Liberty is going to be uh, blacked out for a while. And when she, this thing lasted, uh, her fainting spell, supposedly six minutes. So they kept running these commercials on the Wendy Williams show for about six minutes. Then she comes back on. And when she comes back on, she says, this was not a publicity stunt. Those words are like saying, this is not a test. This is not a drill. This is the real thing to those who know what she is talking about. And I want to, um, I think I messed up a few things. I think I did, but I'm going to go ahead anyway. So be patient with me. I want to show you this first, and then we'll go right back into the, to the dream. I want to show you, um, uh, what is happening with people and, and, and dreams and how they are, um, using i mean people and feigning and how they're using these feigning spells so here's wendy williams she's feigning but i'm going to play at least four more people doing that same feigning thing so let's go into that right now A stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out. But you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. Becky Anderson. I want to hold it right there for a minute. She says that is not a stunt. I overheated in my costume. What's going to happen on November 5th is a process of overheating, but the overheating process is going to be directed towards the people in this country. It's going to be a uh, Department of Defense exercise simulating a um, let me get this very clear a Department of Defense exercise that will be simulating a nationwide power grid blackout from solar storms during Antifa protest in November now what this is saying is that um, in on November The Department of Defense and several of other organizations will be um, engaged in an exercise that may emit um, electromagnetic waves into the atmosphere. And this is a drill. And what this is going to do is for 3,143 counties in the U.S., this will affect these counties. It may black out the, uh, the entire county. It may fry cell phones. It may fry uh, house phones. It may black out uh, for people who are on different machines and medical centers. It may affect that as well. This is a drill as if though, if this event really happened, how will we deal with it? Now, it was I didn't find this information on the Department of Defense website, but I did find it on parent websites that are working with the Department of Defense and the Mars uh, program, which is another part of the uh, Department of Defense of America. Now, this is very serious. Uh, and, you know, most of us aren't aware of it. We won't be aware of, of it. And we don't care. And that is the main thing that is happening with us today. We really just don't care about anything. Uh, if it's not sports, if it's not something that we can just readily talk about and relate to on a uh, very small level, we don't want to talk about it. Um, but this is what is happening. So I want to go deeper into my dream now. This part about Wendy Williams, I told you about her saying that she overheated. These are buzzwords. These are connecting words to tell other people that something is about to happen. Uh, in 2018, we are at 4G right now. We have the 4G network. Um, that means that's how fast the Internet service, the uh, virtual reality, the AI services, that's how fast they are transmitting through our electronic devices. But in 2018, we will go up to 5G. And in the 5G network, uh, 
they will start to experiment more with artificial intelligence. Now, many of you don't know this, but this is a fact. Facebook was working with an artificial intelligent program. That artificial intelligent program was to weed out if people were playing music. Most of us, if we went on live and we were playing music, it would automatically cut it off. They had it set to where if you started talking anything anti anything, if you mentioned religion, if you mentioned the word black or anything like that, it would cut it off. Even if you were singing a song, it would cut the song off and tell you that you're not permitted to use this music under copyright laws. That was artificial intelligence, and it's, and it's based on algorithms. The program that Facebook was using began to think literally for itself. This is, this is it reported. It began to think literally for itself, and it began to become racist. The program, the artificial intelligence, began to, to uh, accumulate all of this information and decide which side it wanted to be on. So the artificial program began to become racist. Now, I don't know if it was for black, for white, for Indian, for native. I don't know. But it became racist. And then it reported that the artificial program actually began to to create its own language where it began to use uh, uh, different little little signs and symbols to communicate with other programs like itself. So they had to cut it off until they figure out what the program was doing and, and why it was doing it. I guarantee you they'll plug it back up once they understand it. But all of the programs that we saw from iRobot to uh, all of these other programs were alluding to a time period that we were not prepared for, but that the elite and those in power knew was coming because they were going to make it come. Now, the attack in Manhattan, uh, uh, happened right around the time that uh, Wendy William decides to faint and say in a, in a Statue of Liberty costume and say that this is not a publicity stunt. The attack happens in Manha Lower Manhattan. Uh, President Donald Trump is announcing now that he may send the person who allegedly committed the crime to Guantanamo Bay where they allegedly stopped the torture, waterboarding, and all of that stuff, but it may come back into being. Now, I had this dream this morning, and uh, the people in Clarendon County had to line up in total darkness. That's what I saw in my dream, at grocery stores. And we were given certain foods that uh, the store could give to the people who weren't able to provide for themselves. We were given certain foods, and it was pitch dark at the supermarket. I know what store. It was actually Piggly Wiggly. We were in the parking lot. And in the middle of that dream, someone was singing this rap song. It was a black guy. And right over in the corner from the black person, I knew who the, I knew who the guy was. Right over in the corner from him was a white person with their arms folded like this. And the guy was singing a rap song melody like Drake and them do. And he was talking about how we should be brothers and love one another and, and stop with the drugs and all of the crime. And then right over in the corner to his left, he had on the floor different alcohols and things that he was actually drinking out of. And someone approached him as he was saying the song and said, why are you being so hypocritical and telling the people to do one thing when you feel like you have a right to do another? Again, this is fascism. This is people who thinking we have a right to do something, but you don't have a right to do it. Uh, and in the corner was this person looking over them like uh, musical uh, 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 record labels that you sign with that tell you what you're going to rap about how you're going to rap about it. And these things are to convince the masses of the people to act a certain way while the elite are permitted to do whatever they want. The masses eat these poison foods. The elite eat the best foods. The masses take all of these poison chemicals into their body. The elite know better than to do that. So they live a longer life, but we think there's something supernatural, but they're not eating the garbage and putting in the garbage in their bodies that we put in. This is my dream now. They do the opposite in private. And I also saw in the dream where some people were calling out the people. I said they were calling the, uh, the musician a liar. In the dreams, the liars, of course, were, 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 um, 
were mentioned to to let me know that where society is today, the liars are in control. Those who can put on a mask and become whatever the people want to be are in control. And this is a fact. Also in the dream, as we were standing in the line in front of Piggly Wiggly, my wife took out a, a little handgun and she shot it in the air. Nobody moved when she shot the gun. But I, was, I took the gun from her and I was busy trying to hide the gun. But I was trying to hide the gun because there was a gun control law in effect that said no, no civilian, no, no people are supposed to have weapons. Only those authorized to have them. So I was scrambling trying to hide the weapon. Uh, and I don't think I was successful with it. I don't know. Uh, but that's what was happening. Then it switched to where I wanted to put on some shoes that shoes that I love. I wanted to put on my house slippers, my Nike slippers, because I like to slip my foot into them. But there was another pair of slippers there that were flip flap, flip flops or whatever they call them. I was forced to put on the flip flops because that is like uh, someone in control of you telling you this is what you wear. So I wasn't allowed to put on the shoes that I wanted to wear. I was forced to put on the flip flops. This is the dream that I had. And this is how I'm showing you how it relates to what happened this morning when someone sent me a link to what's about to happen from November the 4th until November the 6th in this country. Now, truth has no place. That was running through my mind. Uh, In the minds of the el the older people, the older people are uh, a part of the commentary that we will be doing coming up maybe next week. Part two of uh, social engineering. And I want to talk about the old the older people and how in the book, in the Bible, the elders refuse to obey God refused to listen to God, refused to teach the children about God, but still wanted to be in the uh, hereafter, the land that God promised. It took them 40 years to get through the desert when in actuality it only would have taken them uh, four months if they had done exactly what God say. So the, the older ones, according to what I saw and according to what I know and what I believe to be true, they have settled for what had they've been given. They will not teach the children to go beyond what this world has to offer. God wants us to go beyond what this world has to offer, but the elders, the elders, and, and this is one of the reasons why they are being so disrespected by the young, because the young are where God is. In every generation, God is with the young. Every generation. We're going to go into that into our, in our next commentary. In every generation, God is with the young in hopes of growing them up to be elders of wisdom. The elders that we have today are not very wise. They know how to survive, but they're not very wise to the times and what must be done. So we are at a point where the elders are going to die off. Those with wisdom and that they don't use, God is taken away day in and day out. So I want to go back into this and then we're going to close because I'm almost done. I want to read what's going to be happening with the power grid um, on November. The from November the 4th to November the 6th. This is a full report from the National Association for Amateur Radio. It's the A. RRL. Now, this report I could not find on the Department of Defense website, but some of their names are mentioned in it. So I want to go directly into that. Let, I'm going to read it. It's not that long. It's just one page. And some of the words I may not be able to pronounce because they're very difficult. But it says ARLBO19 communication interoperability training with amateur radio communication sets. So usually when a disaster happens, tornadoes and all of that, when all of the all of the uh, communications are down, the one system that is still running is ham radio. I have a ham radio. Ham radio is usually the only system that is not, you can't tap into it. Government can't tap into ham radio like they, ham radio, like they do in everything else, cell phones and all of that. Ham radio is pretty much a private way to communicate. There are very good shows on ham radio. But on November the 4th through the 6th, they will be attacking the, the ham radio frequency 
using electromagnetic waves or e p uh no igne electromagnetic pulses now elements of the u.s department of defense the dod will conduct a communication inter inter probability training exercise from november 4th to november 6th once again simulating a very bad day that is the code word for when someone uses electromagnetic waves on this country to shut out all of its communication satellites and everything else they will say we are having a very bad day that is the code and that's why i told you what wendy williams was doing on her uh show was a message to someone this is not a a, a publicity stunt the the statue of liberty how would you overheat in a building that is constantly uh, uh, climate controlled? How would you overheat in a costume that wasn't that thick, wasn't that big, and you have this dramatic eye stretching fallback, and then six minutes later you back on the air saying this is not a publicity stunt? That is like saying this is a test of the American broadcast system. This is not a test, meaning that this is real. So it says this exercise will begin with the National Mass Cor Coronal Mass Ejection Event. Now, a coronal mass ejection is, is electromagnetic waves that burp from the sun. And if these electromagnetic waves were to come all the way down to the earth, it would black out everything. It ha it's happened in the past. In New York and other places where they had power outages, that was because of, eject that was because of a massive coronal ejection. But they're going to create this. They're going to create it this time from November 5th to November, to November 6th. And I'm going to I'm going to tell you how fast these electromagnetic waves will be going if this comes about. Now, once something like this gets out to the public, things change. So I'm not telling you this is a definite, but this is what is on the books. Um, it says the ejection event will impact the national power grid as well as all forms of traditional communication. Traditional. Ham radio is not traditional. As well as every form of traditional communication. I may be wrong. Hold on that. Uh, hold on to that thought about it not being traditional. Let's see. Um, all forms of traditional communication, including, yeah, ham radio is not. But they're going to include ham radio in on this jamming signal, this grid. All forms of communications will be interrupted, including telephones, cell phones, satellites, and Internet connectivity. Army Mars program manager Paul English, WD8DBY, explained in an announcement, and this is what he says. This is what's going to happen. It's not very long. During the exercise, a designated DOD, designated DOD headquarter entity, will request county-by-county county status reports for the 3,143 U.S. counties and county equivalents in order to gain situational awareness and to determine the extent of an impact of the scenario. Army and Air Force Mars organizations will work in conjunction with the amateur radio community primarily on the 60-meter interoperability in, channels as well as on HF, NVIS frequencies, and local VHF and UHF. Now remember, VHF and UHF signals no longer work in this country because we had to buy digital boxes in order to catch channels. But they're still broadcasting on VHF and UHF. We just can't use them anymore because everything went digital. Non-internet linked amateur radio repeaters. These are your ham radios. Again, this year, a military station on the East Coast and the Fort Hachuca, Arizona HF station will conduct a high power broadcast on 60 meter channel one. That's 5330.5 kilohertz on Saturday, on this Saturday from from three o'clock to 315 UTC. New this year will be an inform informational broadcast on Sunday, they, this Saturday, this is Sunday, on 1348 3.5 kilohertz USB from 1600 to 1615 UTC. Amateur radio operators should monitor these broadcasts for more information. I'm certainly going to be trying to broadcast, um, an uh, analyze them and hope I don't fry my ham radio. 
The exercise and how they can participate in this communication exercise, English said. We want to continue building on the outstanding cooperative working relationship with the ARRL and the amateur radio community. English said, we want to expand the use of the 60 meter interrope channels between the military and amateur community for emergency communications as we hope the amateur radio community will give us some good feedback on the use of both the 5 megahertz interrupt and the new 13 megahertz I don't have I really would like to have that that's why you need money to buy these things things of importance more important than the cars and the, all that other stuff is not, is having things that keep you in the know broadcasting channels as a means of information dissemination during a very bad day scenario. Now, this is according to the uh, Department of Defense and the ARRL and as well as the Mars program. Now, I want to take you back into this Wendy Williams incident. I want you to see now Facebook might give me some hassle on this playing this and they might not allow it to play. And if they don't, uh, we will have to figure out something else. Now, I just played. I'm going to run it back, though. I'm going to play Wendy Williams fainting, and then I'm going to play at least five more different people doing that same stutter faint thing so you can see how controlled this is. I'm going to be quiet for a few minutes and let it play. Here we go. Costume contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out. But you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. Becky Anderson, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Back here on American Soil. Bad news for the Obama administration. Uh, we have this new CNN ORC poll, which is quite a, quite a uh, turnaround in, in uh, Brian, thank you so much. And for all of you on Twitter who are asking if I'm okay, thank you so much. I got a little hot and I, I passed out for a moment. I am fine. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. And as long as you never give up on yourself, light will break through the darkness. Exactly how you have he to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. in, in your high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king. What do you think about the doctor's findings and testimony? Log on to cfnews13.com slash chat to voice your opinion. I'm chatting too. We'll try to answer your questions. OK, I'm, I'm going to stop that right there. But if you want to go on uh, 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 social media, you can find this information where this uh, stuttering and this blackout thing that uh, Wendy Williams did. It's, it's nothing new. Uh, 
it is a, a, a it's kind of like a warning signal to people. So I want to go into what's happening on November the um, 4th through the 6th. Also, this is what is happening. There, there's a league. There's a group of people and they're called the uh, if I could find them, the Antifa organization. And what they are about is they're anti fascist. Now, if you don't know what a fascist is, uh, look it up. It's, it's just people, elite people who think that their point of view is best. And sometimes they're not very even elite people. They're just people who think that everybody should listen to what I say because I know what's going on and I know what's best and you don't. Now, these this organization, the Antifa organization, will be holding their um, they will be holding their protest all over the United States starting on. Uh, Saturday, uh, one for sure will be in Atlanta, Georgia. But this is what is 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 on their website. It says on November fourth, two thousand seventeen, take to the streets and public squares in cities and towns across the country, continuing day after day and night after night, not stopping until our demands are meet. Now these people are extremists in their thinking. Their agenda is not so. Their their their, their requests are not so bad. But their agenda is kind of extreme. That's like a person who says that abortion is bad, but then they kill the abortion doctor. So murder is murder. It's like a catch 22. It's a confusing quagmire. It's a uh, it's, it's, it's funny in, in, in the sense that we don't realize that the things we condemn, we are part of as well. So it says this nightmare must end. The Trump pinch regime must go in the name of humanity. We refuse to accept this new fascist America. And here are some of the things they're pointing out about what's happening. Now, remember, this is on the fourth through the sixth. And also this electromagnetic pulse will be uh, this, this uh, simulation will be conducted from the fourth through the sixth. They're planning it for 3,143 counties, but I don't know if they have that kind of control over such an event. And I don't know if it is actually, they're going to set off an electromagnetic pulse but I want you to uh, listen to what I say about how strong the pulse is, stronger than microwaves. It it can cause mental problems. It can cause uh, cancer in the body. It can cause like the uh, like the uh, nuclear, the bombs that were atomic bombs that were dropped uh, during Agent Orange and all these things in the past. It could cause uh, uh, visual disruption. It could cause hallucinations. It could cause fainting. It could cause death over a period of time. But this is what is happening with the uh, anti-fascist group. Uh, it says a nightmare. They're pointing out the nightmares in this country now. Immigrants living in terror. Their next step could mean detention, deportation, de uh, deportation, being torn from children and loved ones. This is all under the, the current president's uh, mandates. A nightmare. Muslims and refugees demonized banned and cast out every time they're even the shooting in Las Vegas. First thing they said is ISIS and, uh, and, um, and, 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 and terrorists. Now what happened to the other terrorist organizations that we were fighting? Now it's all about ISIS and Muslims. And the, the danger of that is most of you don't know the different types of Muslims. Like there are Catholics and, uh, and, uh, AME and different churches that believe different. There are different types of Muslims. And the black Muslims, followers of the nation of Islam, aren't even allowed to carry weapons unless that is your job, unless that protection is, is warranted by the state. If you have a license to carry because of a reason. But we're not permitted to carry guns or knives or any of that stuff unless it's necessary. So when it comes to Muslims and we're just seeing one type of Muslim, all Muslims are bad. All Chinese people know karate, you know, all uh, all. Uh, black people uh, know how to rap, know how to dance. All white people are stiff. These are, are stereotypes that we we tack on to people that are very dangerous, but a nightmare. Muslims and refugees demonized, banned, and cast out. A nightmare. Millions, children, the elderly, disabled, the sick, the poor, denied health care, food assistance, the very right to live. A nightmare. Women objectified, degraded, and denied the basic rights to control their own reproduction with fundamentalist Christian fascism increasing, being, um, increasingly being made law. A nightmare. They said fundamentalism. They, they spe specified what type of 
Christian fascism, a nightmare. The LGBTQ people stigmatized, ostracized, and denied civil rights recently won. Now, they won the rights, but they're being denied the rights. A nightmare. Black and Latino people openly threatened by the president with maximum sentencing. Now, you know that uh, uh, the, the current president said that uh, 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 Kaepernick, uh, the people who kneel during uh, um, sporting events are committing a crime against America and they should be punished. That's what he says. But in other areas of people really committing crimes, he doesn't speak out at all. But he's stigmatizing anyone that speaks up for their rights. So now, all of a, after a while, no one's going to want to say anything about anything. And that's what's happened to our older generation. They don't want to say nothing about nothing. Well, I ain't got nothing to say about it. They know, but they don't say anything. During the uh, uh, um, Tulsa, Oklahoma riot, where Black Wall Street was decimated by white racist. Though those black people who survived got together and decided that they would not tell the children about what happened because they didn't want to bring up the past. That is something that the children should know so they can prepare for hatred when they see it. But they refuse to tell them. Like our elders refuse to tell things thinking they're helping, but they've been indoctrinated in a way of thinking that they will never help. And just like those in the in the desert who refuse to really listen to God, but made gods. And that's what's happening today. They will not be allowed into the promised land. So I was talking to someone the other day and I said, when my brother was on his deathbed, deathbed, he was dying. And he said, man, I got a desire to spend some of my money. And I said, what are you going to buy? You, you can't see, you can't move. What? I don't know. I just want to spend my money. So when the old, when you start getting older, you see these old men buying Corvettes and not that I'm pointing fingers at anyone, you know, just things that young people should have. They want their piece of the pie because they know in their heart somewhere deep within that this is the only heaven they're going to have a nightmare. People all over the world facing bombings, Occupi occupations, war, and the threat of nuclear war with Donald Trump, America's first finger on the nuclear trigger, president, I guess, a nightmare. The truth, bludgeoned lies and more lies, critical thinking being destroyed in education and public discourse. We are not using critical thinking today. We are so afraid of losing, and that is why the scripture says that money is the root of all evil, because, because we want this money, we're going to not say things about things we should and silence is consent and silence is a sin when something should be said. So you can sin by running your big mouth and you can sin by keeping your big mouth shut when things should be said. A nightmare. The whole planet in peril from a regime that denies global warming and shreds all environmental protection. A nightmare. A regime step by step discarding basic democratic rights, targeting group after group and suppressing dissent and resent. A regime unleashing the violence of white supremacy, anti-Semitism, and fascist, fascist thugs. This is fascism, a qualitative change in how society is governed. History has shown that fascism, fascism must be stopped before it is too late. Now, this is a grand warning. And uh, the elite are being warned of what's happening, how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and they're listening. We're not listening. And unfortunately, my this, this broadcast won't get a million hits or even 10. I rarely get 15. But uh, God tells me to keep talking. And the dream last night coincides with the message that was sent to me today. Again, the message was from some young ladies and they had almost 4 million hits and they were talking about the power grid and what's going to happen from the fourth to the sixth. But a, a lot of the information is, is, is um, it needs to be researched a little bit more before we say it, because if you start to talking about things and it doesn't happen the way you say it and you said it with such certainty, then when you have something of value to say, the people won't listen. So that's 4 million people who are waiting for the, for the for from November the fourth to the sixth for the for everything to black out, but according to the to, to the uh, paperwork it says three thousand one hundred and forty three counties. I don't know how they would control that, but that's what it says. Now here is where these uh, anti 
anti-fascist <clears throat> um, groups will be protesting starting on Saturday. That's in Austin. Atlanta is the closest to South Carolina, all upstate in Omaha and all on the uh, West Coast, I think that is, with Los Angeles and San Francisco Bay Area. All of those areas will be under occupation. Now, the thing about this group, is that concerns me is that they are, are similar to what they uh, say they don't like because they are talking about disrupting uh, everything. And and some are even hinting on violence. And that's uh, that's a dangerous thing in itself. But with this uh, electromagnetic pulse that will be released, they are saying that the. Uh, the speed of this um, electromagnetic pulse could be 17.2 million miles an hour up to 4 million miles an hour. So this pulse could fry everything. Again, I wanted to share this information um, and I hope you will be on the lookout for our next commentary. That is um, social programming part two. And we went into religion on part one and we will be going into music. And the music industry with part two. Thank you so much for tuning in to this installment of the 19 Report live on Facebook. And I hope that it came out okay. And uh, I hope that you'll stay tuned in with us very soon. Thank you again.